name is Juan Gonzalvo and I work for Tethys Research Institute. I'm here running the Ionian Dolphin project. We've been here uh, since 1991 and we've been going on for 20 years now. Right now we are in the village of Bonitsa in the southern shore of the Embrakikos Gulf. The Embrakikos Gulf is in western Greece, in the coast of the Ionian Sea, and we have a population of bottlenose dolphins and that's the core of our study. We have another study area that is nearby, uh, that is called the Inner Ionian Sea Archipelago, but we refer to it as Calamos Island because historically, in 1991, when we started here, is where we established our first few days. We are studying a population that lives in a system that is very enclosed. The population of dolphins seems to be pretty stable, which by no means means that they are not at risk. They rely uh, on a highly uh, degraded ecosystem, and things are not looking that good in that regard. Um, our work involves long hours at sea. Basically, we go out, we survey the waters of both study areas, not only looking for dolphins, but to record presence or absence of dolphins. Once we encounter a dolphin group, we record their behavior at regular intervals. We use photo identification, meaning that dolphins have natural marks, primarily on their dorsal fins, that by taking photos of enough quality of these dorsal fins, we can identify every single individual. These photos act like a fingerprint. So by regularly identifying the dolphins that are out there, we can look at population trends. Now we know that the common dolphins of Calamos declined because we were there recording the presence of dolphins and the dolphin numbers for 20 years. It's a project funded by the Tethys Research Institute, but we rely on support from other organizations. These organizations are Ocean Care, that has been involved in this project for as long as I can recall. Um, we are working also with volunteers of Earthwatch. We have also support of RACSPA, the regional uh, activity centers for um, protected areas. Um, ACOVAMS, the Agreement for the Conservation of Cetaceans in the Mediterranean and Contiguous Black Sea, the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Society. As you can imagine, a project that has been going on for 20 years, quite a few people have been involved. I mean, now I'm the actual program manager, but I wasn't here when this, is, this thing started. I mean, if we are here and this project goes on, it's thanks to a large number of people that have been involved for the last 20 years. I think that the major thing that has been achieved is that now, when someone mentions dolphins in the area, the local community and the fishermen relay that to us. I mean, when we first arrived here, um, many people wouldn't even know that there are dolphins in the Gulf of Ambrakikos. I was going to the schools and projecting a slide of a bottlenose dolphin leaping out of the water, and the kids would be amazed. And when you tell them, this is this was taken here, right in front of your house, they wouldn't believe it. Hmm. Now they know about dolphins, they ask you in the street how it's going, how are the dolphins doing. It's a major change. So I'm, I'm very happy about the, the actual relationship with fishermen. We wouldn't be here now if it wasn't with their support. It's impossible to work for a long term in an area, in such a small community, if you are not accepted by them. That would be impossible. Ε, η άποψή σου για τα αδελφίνια ποια είναι, τι πιστεύει. Υπήρχαν πριν από εμάς παιδιά, τα αδελφίνια. Και είχε όλο μας. Και θα υπάρχουν, ελπίζω. Και το σύνολο των ψαράδων και η τοπική κοινωνία και ιδίως τα παιδιά. Τα παιδιά πλέον, η γενιά των παιδιών μου, γιατί γίνω γονέας πλέον, μέσα από τις δραστηριότητες τους, έχουν αντιληφθεί ότι υπάρχουν πλέον οικολογικά προβλήματα, και τι έχει θέση και τι δεν έχει θέση σε ένα χώρο και σε ένα οικοσύστημα όπως ο Αμβραγικός. Τα αδελφίνια φυσικά και η καρέτα καρέτα έχουν τη θέση που τους αναλογεί και τα παιδιά το αναγνωρίζουν και το καταλαβαίνουν και το θέλουν πλέον. Mm -hmm. Όχι μόνο τις ασχήμιες, mm -hmm. γιατί δεν υπάρχουν μόνο οι ασχήμιες στην Ελλάδα. Okay. Έχουμε ένα πολύ όμορφο περιβάλλον που πρέπει να το προστατέψουμε. Είναι το κεφάλαιό μας για το μέλλον. Okay. We have had since 1991 
over 1,300 volunteers from 40 different countries. This is a major success, not only because we have managed to involve these people in our project, but because I would like to think that when they participate in such a project, they gain some knowledge about these issues and they get a very valuable experience. So I think that is crucial that people like normal people that is not necessarily uh, professionally involved in what we do, but they have an interest, so what they get back home, they talk with family, with friends, and somehow the word spreads around about marine conservation. From a more practical point of view, without the support of our volunteers, we wouldn't manage to have this thing going for over 20 years.